welcome to the Property Elite podcast. I'll be your host, Jen Lehman, Chartered Surveyor and co-founder of Property Elite. Stay tuned each week for more on industry hot topics, market updates and new RICS guidance. In this week's podcast, I take a look at non-traditional steel framed housing built by the British Iron and Steel Federation BISF between 1945 and 1948. It's essential listening for all residential pathway APC and associate RICS candidates, as well as any building surveying candidates reporting on residential property. Following World War II, there was a national shortage of housing. To meet high demand and increase the limited supply of housing, new construction methods were adopted, primarily by local authorities and public bodies. These were rolled out as part of the Ministry of Works Emergency Factor Made Housing Programme. These new methods were typically non-traditional, so not traditional brick, block cavity or solid balls, and efficient because they used minimal imported materials, did not require heavy plant for construction, used unskilled labour on site as labour skilled or not had been depleted by the war, and created cost efficiencies. One of these non-traditional methods of construction was introduced by BISF in the form of steel-framed houses. There are other forms of steel-framed houses that were not constructed by BISIF. Around 35,000 BISF dwellings were constructed, of which around 97% were semi-detached and 3% were terraced. You can read about other forms of non-traditional housing in our previous blog, podcast and YouTube articles, videos, etc. BISF houses were constructed of rolled steel sections with metal roof trusses and corrugated metal sheet or asbestos cement roof coverings over fibreboard insulation sheets. External walls were typically clad in profile metal sheeting to the upper floors. Rendering or brick were usually found to the ground floor external elevations. On the blog article on our website, we've got loads of diagrams to help you further understand how BISF houses were constructed. So are BSIF houses designated defective? No. BSIF housing, unlike other forms of non-traditional housing, are not designated as defective under the Housing Act 1985. However, this does not mean that they are free from defects. Typically, BSIF houses may suffer from defects such as potential corrosion of the steel frame, particularly where properties are in exposed locations with driving wind and rain, cracking to rendered finishes, poor thermal performance, a risk of asbestos-containing materials which could be in poor condition, and increased fire risk. BSIF houses are not acceptable to all lenders due to their non-standard construction. This may limit mortgageability compared to a traditional masonry cavity-walled dwelling. Other relevant issues to consider include BSIF houses are often more expensive to insure, Repairs should be undertaken by a contractor who is familiar with the construction type. And asbestos roofing materials need to be kept in good condition and repairs or replacement dealt with appropriately given the risk of harm to health. So what do you need to be aware of as a surveyor? BSAF housing can be identified by noting a number of different features. So render and metal sheet cladding used to the external elevations. Semi-detached configuration, although a small number of terraces were constructed. If original, small-sized metal crystal hope windows. An external canopy with metal supporting posts rather than a porch, although this, of course, could be a more recent addition to the dwelling. Corrugated metal or asbestos cement roofs and metal trusses in the roof space. Surveyors need to be familiar with the types of properties they may encounter within their local area, together with the associated defects they may find within the local housing stock. Surveyors carrying out mortgage valuations also need to be familiar with their individual lender client's guidance, as this will confirm whether a specific housing type is considered mortgageable or not. For example, Leeds Building Society's mortgage lending criteria and guidance confirms the following. For non-standard construction, the value as guidance notes include a full list of acceptable construction types. Steel frame properties are not normally acceptable. However, they may be considered where the valuer states that resaleability is not affected and the property is subject to a durable outer leaf, for example, brick, block or stone. In addition, a structural engineer's report is required to confirm that the structural frame is in satisfactory condition and free from corrosion where bolted to the floor slab. 
Thanks for listening to the Property Elite podcast this week. Head to our website to check out our full blog, free and paid support resources and services, free consultation for every single RICS APC and ASOC RICS candidate, and also ask us any questions you have via the website chat blog. See you next week.